Hi, and welcome to our One Life presentation. My name is Kara Samlalsing, and it is my honor to be here with you all today. Now, I hope you all are being safe out there. Now, this presenter that we have this afternoon is no stranger to our community. Now, firstly, let me tell you, she was first a uh, educator by profession. She joined this business with her husband in 2016, and she didn't know much about the world of finance. However, because of this business, she has grown. She has educated herself with the educational packages that are provided for us in this business. And she has become a powerhouse to make sure that every person grows and each one reach one and each one teach one. So it is my pleasure to present to you all this evening, Donna Samuel Singh. Welcome our presenter. I hope you will enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, as I listened to my introduction, I realized how much I didn't know. And I realized that through this business, I learned a lot. Well, I'm gonna share some of what I learned with you today. And I hope you would be motivated, educated and encouraged to go further, to find out more, to do more. So allow me to share my screen with you as we begin the presentation. What we're gonna do is try to put the pieces together. I have had uh, over the years being in this business, I have come to a place where I want to put the pieces together. I want to educate you on how the pieces can be put together to bring you up to date on what is happening in today's financial world and financial system. But this is my disclaimer. The information contained herein and dispensed is not designed to be a source of financial information, nor should it be construed as such. One Life is not an investment company. The images and videos in this presentation are the property of their respective owners. Technology is changing the world. That is a fact. If you look around you, the Me Too in your hand turned into a smartphone over the period of time that you had it. If you have your Me Too still, you alone will be answering that Me Too. We have gone through three industrial revolutions. One, two, and three, and we are at present in the fourth. And I'm gonna share a video that will give you an overview of how these industrial revolutions came to pass, what they are and where we are now and what is happening in the world today. It was in these Swiss mountains that the world was first introduced to the phrase, the fourth industrial revolution. And it's been a hot topic among academics, politicians and business leaders ever since. But what exactly does it mean? The term fourth industrial revolution was coined by the founder of the World Economic Forum, a former professor named Klaus Schwab. Schwab wrote a book with that title to describe an era marked by a technological revolution that is blurring the lines between the physical, digital, and biological spheres. Let's break that down. Technologies like artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, or the Internet of Things are becoming ingrained in our day-to-day -day lives and even our bodies. Think of voice-activated virtual assistants, face ID recognition, or healthcare sensors. Schwab first presented his vision of the fourth industrial revolution at the World Economic Forum's annual meeting here in Davos in 2016. But to understand the idea, we need to go much further back in history to Industrial Revolution number one. The first Industrial Revolution started in Great Britain around 1760 and spread to Europe and North America through the early 1800s. It was powered by a major invention, the steam engine. The result, new manufacturing processes, the creation of factories, and a booming textiles industry. 
From the late 1800s, the second industrial revolution was marked by mass production and new industries like steel, oil, and electricity. The light bulb, telephone, and internal combustion engine were a few of the major inventions of this era. The third industrial revolution, sometimes known as the digital revolution, occurred in the second half of the 20th century. In just a few decades, we saw the invention of the semiconductor, personal computer, and the internet. So what separates the fourth industrial revolution from the third? Experts say the main difference is that technology is merging more and more with humans' lives, and that technological change is happening faster than ever. Consider this. It took 75 years for 100 million users to adopt the telephone. Instagram signed up 100 million users in just two years, while Pokemon Go caught that amount in one month. 3D printing is just one example of fast-paced technology in the fourth industrial revolution. The industry has gone from a business idea to big business, with 3D printer shipments expected to increase from just under 200,000 in 2015 to 2.4 million in 2020. Today, you can have a hip replacement from a 3D printed bone or use a 3D printed bionic arm. Talk about blurring the line between humans and technology, right? This new era of technology is driving a lot of innovation. You can see in this chart the number of patents related to the fourth industrial revolution for things like 3D printing or AI has been climbing up and up since early 2000. Organizations are embracing new technologies to make their businesses more efficient, similar to how they embraced the steam engine during the first industrial revolution. But some companies and governments are struggling to keep up with the fast pace of technological change. Research shows innovators, investors, and shareholders benefit the most from innovation. The risk is that the fourth industrial revolution is making inequality, which is already a big issue, even worse. One study found billionaires have driven almost 80% of the 40 main breakthrough innovations over the last 40 years. That's a problem when the richest 1% of households already own nearly half of the world's wealth. Experts warn we are in a winner-takes-all economy where high-skilled workers are rewarded with high pay and the rest of workers are left out. Studies confirm technologies like AI will eliminate some jobs and create demand for new skills that many workers don't have. Privacy concerns are another issue as the fourth industrial revolution turns every company into a tech company. Industries from food to retail to banking are going digital and they're collecting a lot more data about their customers along the way. Users are starting to worry that companies know too much about their private digital lives. The World Economic Forum says a majority of leaders don't have confidence their organizations are ready for the changes associated with the fourth industrial revolution. With tech changing fast every day, it's time to catch up. Time to hey everyone, catch Elizabeth up. here. And time to catch up. If necessity is the mother of invention, then imagination is the father of creativity. You saw some of the things that are happening in the fourth industrial revolution. Unbelievable. When people talk to me about 3D printing of a hand and 3D printing of a house and a hotel, an apartment building that a room spins right around the whole room, not like here in Trinidad where you'll find or in one of our hotels will turn around while you eat and you'll be able to get different views. This whole floor is actually spinning around. So you have sunset, you have sunrise. Whichever aspect of the day you want to embrace is available to you through that new technology. Then if necessity is the mother of invention and the imagination is the father of creativity, do you think money would not be affected? Let's take a look at the evolution of money. A global financial revolution is taking place. Change is here. We are in the fourth industrial revolution and it is impacting everything that we are, everything that we are doing and everything that we will be in the future. So let's take a quick look at the evolution of money. We have the barter system. I don't need to go through that. I came with my four apples and you came with a handful of corn and we saw that was the value of each item and we exchanged it. Of course, there was difficulties with that because when I had a car, what were you going to give me for it? Couldn't give me four apples then. So that, of course, quickly passed away and we looked at other means, other concepts of money. We had this check, your market, and a certain amount of market gives you a certain amount of value. Then we moved into gold coins and silver. I know if you know your Bible, you would know you had shekels and all those things came to be. 
but then we came to paper currency. And I advise you to look at the history of money. It is awesome to understand how we came to this place called paper currency. But then came technology. And technology started to affect the way we make payments. So we came in with card systems where you would use your link cards or your MasterCard or your Visa card. We didn't stop there because technology continues to grow. It continues to change the way we do things. So then we came up with the digital systems and we pay PayPal and all these different payment systems. And then came the new kid on the block. This is the new emerging trend. Have you been invited to Facebook? Have you been invited to IBM? Have you been invited to Apple to become a part of that community, to be a, a, a shareholder in a community such as that? No. But cryptocurrency, the new kid on the block is here. Do you know of it? If you're new to this, this evening's meeting, cryptocurrency is now what we call the face, the new face of money. The face of money is changing and there's a new economy rising called the future of payment and cryptocurrency is at the center of this. It began with the Bitcoin. We call him the grandfather. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency introduced in 2009 and 21 million coins were available. Bitcoin reached a value of over 1,200 in 2013. I'm not gonna go into the history of how people purchased Bitcoin, became millionaires over it. Look it up. It is important to see how the start of cryptocurrency came in to be. And I'm going to show you how it is continuing to be. As right now, there are approximately 5,500 plus, almost 6,000 as my husband said today when we were discussing this, cryptocurrencies in the world. And it was first launched in 2009 beginning with Bitcoin. We are now in 2020. And if I'm correct, and my addition is right, that's 11 years of existence. So do you think cryptocurrency is here to stay? Well, if there are almost 6,000 cryptocurrencies in the, in the world, I tell you, I think it is already here and here to stay. So let's look at this. Video. We use money every day, but we rarely appreciate its power and its flaws. It's a tool that has been at the center of human progress. And as we build bigger and tackle complex problems, we're going to need the best tools available. We have a global economy. We're going to need a global digital currency. Cryptocurrency is going to be a great democratizing force for the world because it's going to level the playing field and allow anybody with a cell phone to access financial services. This is going to transform how we think about a real global economy. I think in order to understand its importance, we first have to define what currency means. What currency does is it actually allows us to agree upon the value of something. It's almost like a communication tool. There are different ways of coordinating human beings. One way that you can do that is with money. You can incentivize people to try to work on the same thing at the same time. We started off building simple systems like a bridge crossing a river to very amazing things like rocket ships. We went from interacting with our neighbors to now transacting with each other around the world. And we want to make sure that people can move money freely. And our current financial system just doesn't enable that. So the current systems are very centralized. And so we have big banks and big governments. There's a lot of middlemen who make things incredibly inefficient. When you talk about the problems of the existing financial system, you can go to a situation like Venezuela, where you know money is being printed and, and book savings are basically being destroyed. <laughs> The value of their wealth has been completely eroded. I think a lot of us in the United States sort of take this idea for granted that if someone gives us money, it'll be in our bank account, and it's not going to disappear or be taken away from us. And that's really a luxury that many people in the world don't have at all. There are about 1.8 billion people in the world today who have a cell phone but don't have access to any financial services. What's really powerful about cryptocurrency is that it lets anybody who just have a smartphone and internet connection participate in the global economy. What cryptocurrency does is takes the stability that we have and gives it to the rest of the world. The stability that we have and give it to the rest of the world. We are in the hard trouble of emerging trends. There are a lot of things happening all over the world. Businesses popping up here and there. And if you do your research, you would realize that when there are recessions, when there are challenges, 
that businesses rise in spite of. Remember I said necessity is the mother of invention? Well, it is. And imagination is the father of creativity? Well, it is. And I am here to represent this evening a company called One Life that saw an emerging trend, that saw an opportunity to bring to the world something that could bring stability to the world, as that video just said. Something that can show the world, hey, this is the way to go. This is the new way. Because we have found a better way, a stronger way. We look at the world right now and we realize that it's not an amusing thought, even though it might sound so, but monopoly is being played. Because when you look at the US dollar, you, you do your research and you will see they compare it to a monopoly dollar. And they said the only thing that gives this value is the fact that you and I say that it has value. It's similar to the money in our country. If I live here a millionaire and I go to Barbados, I'm laughed at because my teach dollars cannot spend in Barbados at the value it is. It cannot spend. It is not recognized. But One Life, the company that I'm sharing with you this evening, is about to introduce you to something that is global, something that is different, something that can change the world in which we live and change your life. We are a global company, 3.6 plus million users. We have over 130,000 merchants, 190 plus countries, and we did this in just five years, one life. What is our mission? It is to enable a global community of web users. It also carries an aim to increase the quality of life of members. I mean, just imagine a mission that aims to increase the quality of your life. It provides alternative and equal access to practical and relevant financial education to people worldwide. It is about to ignite a natural educational evolution. And it did that in my life. It woke me up, brought me to the place where I felt motivated, where I wanted to know more, where I wanted to find out more where the education that is being sold brought to me knowledge that I didn't have. It opened my eyes and took my head out of the sand. You may ask who needs cryptocurrency. I have my paper money. I never said your paper money was going anywhere. But I'm telling you that who needs cryptocurrency? It's you. It's me. It's all of us. Because we need the stability that cryptocurrency is offering. The world right now is being challenged. We see it in Venezuela. We see it in the U.S. We see it even home in our own home environment. We see where our money is being challenged. So who needs cryptocurrency? Who needs the stability that cryptocurrencies offer? You, me, and the world. You see, the unbanked in the world need cryptocurrency. Why? Because they have no access to loans or mortgages to buy a home or start businesses. No credit card facility. That is only given by the bank. But cryptocurrency has come with the use of your phone. A simple transaction with the use of your phone. You can make a simple transaction that could put you on par with people who are banked. So you can look at buying land. You can look at buying a home by just having cryptocurrency. You don't need a credit card facility because this is an appreciating commodity that you will have and that you can use globally. If you want to send money to your loved ones, you go to Western Union, you go to MoneyGram and you pay through your nose. But because of cryptocurrency, sending money to our loved ones are a lower fee. We send and receive money without the red tape faster transaction, and of course, because of blockchain, which is the underlying technology behind cryptocurrency, you have increased security and ease of accessibility. And that in itself is awesome. We are creating a world that is different, a world that makes it easier for you to do the things you have to do with the money that you have. There's global trade. Do you want to expand your, grow your business overseas? You can do this 
cryptocurrency paves the way, opens the door. There's increased trade worldwide. Cross-border purchases are easily made. No restrictions on where and what you can buy or sell. You can buy in places that you can't even name. Paraguay, Uruguay, Kyrgyzstan, you name it. We are worldwide. We are global. We are taking you to another level. It can protect your income and wealth. You know of 2008 when the banks around the world started to collapse. After that crisis, many countries started printing money. Of course, that increases inflation. With cryptocurrency, there's a limit. There's currency control. So you can't just jump on a machine and say, print more cryptocurrency and cause inflation. No, there's currency control. Cryptocurrency, as was said in that video before, has come to bring to the world a change, a much needed change. As a company, we realize that you need to know why you are here, why you're doing what you're doing, why education is at the heart of our company. Because we didn't come to sell you anything. We came to educate you on the new emerging trend called cryptocurrency. We came to let you know that, hey, there is a stability out there in financial system. There is stability. We came to share that with you through our education. We educate you and you learn from international financial ex experts on finance. We take you from zero to hero in Forex. And we show you the law that governs cryptocurrency. So we're not coming here without legal implications and regulators. We understand that the country in which you live would need that. So we have put that on our education platform called the One Academy. We didn't stop there. We continue to grow. We continue to share. We continue to educate the masses as we bring to you the blockchain. One Academy now brings blockchain to you, the fundamentals of blockchain and blockchain professional so that you will understand. And when you're finished, you might be able to do your own blockchain. This is the way the world is going. You can watch Netflix, you can watch television, sports, do what you have to do, but wake up your mind to understand this is the way the world is going and you need to get on board. Take your head out of the sand like I did and find out more. We did New Life. We did New Life Plus and educational packages. We have finance for children. We give that to them and we show them through Super Ted. The adventures of super Ted, circulation of money, making the money go wrong. That is awesome. We decided, hey, we're not stopping there. Where is our money stored? We gave them that finance market supply and demand. And we have a lot more. You want to know how to become a part of this community? You should be so excited because we are bringing stability to your money. You can become a part of this community by getting back to the person who invited you to this forum or come on board. Hear what I'm saying? 1,400 TTD, Trinidad and Tobago dollars to start on an educational journey that can change your life. You can choose to accept free promotional tokens to mine with your educational package. When this is done, and of course, you're going to accept it. It's free. So when you accept it, your tokens go through a process called split. It goes through a process of mining, and then you end up with your coin. But as my husband will often say, don't even, don't even go there. Don't even go there with 1,400 because you will need more than that. You will need more than that because each education package gives you other levels other higher levels and i can tell you i have been on them and wow it's exciting there's a gentleman more than one who have completed all the levels i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there awesome education is exciting but you know what is even more exciting for me when i was introduced and you were aware that i was not aware of the financial system and the finance around the world i knew about expenditure here because i know how to spend but boy, through Deal Shaker, I learned of usability. I learned how a commodity can appreciate in value and give me much more than my money's worth. So I saw when I came into this business, I started at 625. 625 or 625, around there. 
It doesn't matter. What I do know, I got increments, about seven, eight increments. I never got so many so quickly on my job because from 2016 to 2019, we went to 29.95 euros for one coin, for one coin, one, one coin, 29.95. But huh, you know what's exciting in 2020, from 2015 to now, five years, we are at 42.43 euros. And I congratulate the members because it means that we have continued to share we have continued to educate in spite of. You see, when new things come out, an emerging trend, people look at it like, oh, I'm too sure. But watch me, we continue to grow in spite of. So congrats to all members. 42.43 euros, 340 TTD. Well, that's a good way to go for the value of our coin. We have a one ecosystem in this business. We knew the birth of the coin would create a unique ecosystem revolving around the one coin. The one would bring all the elements together and provide a universal, uniform currency for all the users within it. By developing the elements in the ecosystem, we encourage the coin's usability, functionality, and reliability. Let me take you through the ecosystem. We begin with the One Life Network because without you and me, we would have no business. We need people. We need a network. Every business needs a network. Don't let people fool you with the word network. The business you work in need a network because if you are in a business and you tell no one of it, it is not advertised, it will not exist. So we advertise. We have our network. We have our deal shaker franchise and our deal shaker merchant. I love this the most, and I'm going to share it with you a little later because you're going to drop till you drop. We have our education, which I love. I embrace it because it has caused me to grow, to become more aware of what is happening in the world around me. I could become a couch potato. Netflix is beautiful, but would that give me what I want for the future? I love Forex trading. I'm learning it. One Forex from hero to zero. Find out what is happening in the world around you. We have a charity arm called One World Foundation. We give. We give because the world needs a giver. We educate our children. And it is not just talking. We don't just talk it, but we walk it. And then coming on board soon will be our exchange and our remittance platforms where we have our digital wallets and transfers available to make life easier for you to spend money to that loved one and to come on an exchange where you can exchange your one. What does the one ecosystem aim to create? A world without inflation and interest on loans. Just imagine that, a world with no interest, no interest on loans, a safe world, a secure debt and volatile payment option, increased trade worldwide, a payment method which authorities can count on. And I often tell people, Someone asked me the other day, so what can I do with my ones? I say, you can spend it like money because the ones, it is money. The one coin is money. It is a commodity, just like the dollar in your pocket that we call fiat currency. The one coin is money. I have spent it. I have experienced it. I've used it. So for me, I already have my money in my ones, in my hand. And this is where I spend it. The Deal Shaker is an interactive commerce hub. It levels the playing field of money and trade. This is our local merchants in Trinidad, where you can buy food, perfume, body sprays, vegetables, you name it, shoes, land, you name it, furniture for your house, jewelry. You can go to Ken's Grill. You want to take a haircut? Use your one. You want to go to Ken's Grill? You want to get something good for your body? You have health products here as well. We have it for you. Take a massage. Learn to fly a plane. Buy a tablet. Buy a laptop. Buy a phone. Let me tell you something. The deal shaker levels the playing field as we go global and we take you around the world. And you can buy jewelry. When I looked at this white gold with emerald, I was like, boom. 35.441. Notice the price, one. I went to Spalicious. I did a massage. Oh, it was delicious. Listen, 
this is real. Real. My husband went to Vietnam and using ones, the currency of the day, he bought himself alligator belt. And he bought for me alligator handbag. He was going to bring back a coconut, but he was warned. So he used his ones and he brought this to me. This was awesome. I love it. I keep the tag on it. He bought rings for me, my jewelry. He replaced my wedding ring with one. Can I ever stop talking about this with excitement? No, because it is going to take me into the tomorrow, the future. This is my ones again at work. As I snack on potato pocket, as I snack on bottled spicy minced herring and saltfish bull, John, and I put it together with some spinach rice that I did. Man, talk about taste good. And you see the issues? I think food from this much is the best thing in town. I don't know where she buys it, but boy, when it comes to your table, mm, 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 delicious, beautiful, fresh, nice, and delivered as only one can. How is this bought in Suriname by people right here in this country with one? Look at it. Wake up your mind. I am walking on land in Sandy Grandi with my family, with my grandchildren, my daughter, my son, my daughters, my son. Listen, you need to understand this is real. And I bought it. We bought it with ones. What more can we ask for? It is a green commodity and it fits in your phone. I am going to share with you something that happened on July the 25th. Get ready for excitement. Because remember I said to you, Necessity is the mother of inven invention. And imagination is the father of creativity. So you would think because of the challenges that the world is facing, well, we would give up, we would stop. No. Remember I said technology is changing the world? Well, we changed the world. When on the 25th of July, we came together, my hostess and my host and myself, and we delivered the first one online global deal shaker. together. We are the first online country. You had a thousand opportunities to spend your ones because Deal Shaker makes it possible for one coin to be the most usable cryptocurrency in the world. In the world. Isn't that awesome? What are others saying about cryptocurrency? The world is talking. Are you listening? Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, says crypto is the people's money. He said they will overtake traditional assets like the US dollar and gold. Check it out. Robert Kiyosaki said it. Akon City, everybody know Akon. He's a singer. He has a futuristic cryptocurrency team city founded and he's opening it in Senegal, West Africa. He's ready to begin construction. And in that city is going to use the A-Coin cryptocurrency exclusively. I remember going to Disney World years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Going to Disney World years ago and using Disney World coins. There was a Disney World coin. So this is not a new thing. Disney World, don't you don't pay in Disney World to pay for money. Disney World have their own money that is recognized within Disney World. Akon has now said, I am going the way of the future. I am having my city. In Senegal, West Africa, I am going to use a coin cryptocurrency 
And when he builds a city, it is going to have roads, hospital, a mall, hotels, and a school. There will also be parks, universities, a stadium, and an industrial complex. What I am sharing with you this evening, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are in the world, what I am sharing with you is a country, a world, a whole new world, where the one cryptocurrency will be the currency that will be exclusive and engaged by 3.6 million plus persons in over 190 plus countries. Are you on board? You see, the G20 said cryptocurrency is the way to go. They're looking at it. 15 countries said they were legal. And these are the people who control your money. Six were neutral, four restricted, and one illegal. Do your research. In 2019, in Japan, they reaffirmed their position on cryptocurrency. And they said it continued to deliver significant benefit to the economy. JP Morgan is rolling out the first U.S. bank-backed cryptocurrency to transform payments for business. Malta Prime Minister hails crypto as future of money in UN speech. He spoke out. He didn't stop there. He became the first country to regulate cryptocurrency, Malta. And it looks like a beautiful place to visit, and I can spend my one. Mexican lawmakers passed cryptocurrency regulation bill. SBI launches Japan's first bank-owned cryptocurrency exchange with Ripple support. Ha! Huh. I have a question for you. If the world is going this way, but other people are saying cryptocurrency is a scam, my question to you, to you, is cryptocurrency a scam or the next currency? You see, our goal as a business is to become the number one cryptocurrency in, this, in the world. And we are doing this through usability mainly you saw the deal shaker platform it is all over the world i can't name some of the countries that i experienced on july 25th names kyrgyzstan where i saw clothes to buy i mean spain where i saw shoes and handbags this is real trinidad and tobago where i bought land and food and jewelry this is real our target is 10 million users 1 million merchants in two years are you going to be part of this? Because you can be a merchant and you can be a user. You can come on board. Get back to the person who invited you and become a part of a potentially explosive community that is taking you to the future. Let's listen to this. Chris. Um. first day, if you'd like to work here as a broker. Would you like that, Chris? Yes, sir. Good. We couldn't be happier. So, welcome. Was it as easy as it looked? No, sir. No, no sir, it wasn't. This part of my life, this 
little part. It's called happiness. went on to found the investment firm. He went on to build an investment firm. You know, if you are aware of that story, the history of that story, Chris Gardner, in order to reach to where he was, he lost his wife, his present wife at that time. He slept in bathrooms and train stations with his son and had to lock the door with tears in his eyes. He hustled after hustling through the day to get to a place where he and his son could sleep in the night, to sleep under a roof and not sleep under, under the, on the road or in a train station bathroom. It was hard. But he looked and he saw what was happening in the world. He embraced the emerging trend. He recognized the technology that was taking place. And he recognized that though the climb was the hardest climb, the best view came after. The best view came after. He had a hard climb, but the best view comes after the hardest climb. And as I wrap up this evening, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, I want to tell you, change your future. Start today. Get back to the person who invited you and become a part of this community. Don't listen to the naysayers. Explore for yourself, examine for yourself, and question for yourself, because you want a different tomorrow for your family, for yourself, for your children. One point, the future of payment. I say thank you. We stay together for more, as I say, one's out. Wow. <laughs> Ms. Donna Savasing, thank you so, so much for that presentation. I must say it was really riveting and really informative. Now, no, one thing is me. You want to make a life and you want to set a foundation for your children, for your family. This business, One Life, is the community and the business to do it in. Come in, as Ms. Samuel Singh said, get back to the person who brought you, who invited you to the meeting. And you come and get whatever information is necessary for you to get started in having our one life and your own life. You understand? So what I would like to do right now is I would like to invite Ivan, Mr. Ivan and Michelle or either or if either of you can actually come on and just share with us your experience thus far in this business for me. Hi, hi, hi. Good night, everyone. Are you there? Hello. Good, good evening, everyone. Are you hearing me? Yes, we're hearing you loud and clear, Miss Michelle. <laughs> Welcome. Right. You're seeing me too, right? A little bit, yes. right? Yes, we are. So <laughs> I want to say thank you for allowing me to give a little um, testimony. Like Donna, when we first saw this presentation, we were actually... Not to convince, we need it, and here why? Because we come from finance. Our background is banking and insurance. And after spending many years, you know, sometimes when you hear something, you feel it's too good to be true. Well, guess what? We couldn't understand this concept of money 
digital, um, the cryptography, the method in which the cryptocurrency is being used. And I want to let you know, after we have opened our mind, this is four years now going, and we are blessed, blessed in the sense that we are the innovators. We are actually in the forefront. People wouldn't understand the excitement that Donna and I and other members and even you would share with the excitement we would share because we are creating history. And you know what? Every day, as I hear more and more as to how the government is treated with COVID and I'm seeing what is happening in the world, I am understanding where this system has stemmed from many years ago in the making. And we don't know because, you know, um, uh, Captain um, King James showed a, a video today. And when you see that um, the the economies of the world, especially the US, when you see the kind of debt they are in, and yet they can just bring 7 trillion or 7 billion, whatever that figure is, into circulation. The fact is people just don't understand money. And here why we are actually going back to teach you from the beginning, bartering, we moved on, we moved on, we moved on. But you need to understand this new money system that is already here. Four years ago, when I saw this, my husband and I were the first two persons with another two gentlemen that went to Curacao. And guess what? Four years later, so many people are talking about cryptocurrency. In fact, they're not just only talking it, they're teaching it, they get wise. But the fact is we are the only, the only company that teaches you the education, gives you that knowledge first, but it comes with power because you get usability. And that's why we love it. We are a country within a country. People must understand that. Two economies operating right side by side, and it gets us excited. I'm sorry for all um, who are not on the call today. They are missing out because you know what? My time is coming when I'll be able to say I told you so. And I'm looking forward to say it to many of my colleagues and friends. I'm sorry. I have to be real because sometimes the messenger is what is looked at and scorned upon rather than listening to the message. The message is be prepared for this economy that is going to be using cryptocurrency and you may be left behind. So I want to thank you for allowing me to share. I welcome those who have made that decision. And for those who want to bring others, we do nightly calls. And you know, you need to be back here. So I thank you. I thank you very much for this opportunity to share. Thank All you right. so, so much for sharing with us, Ms. Michelle. It was a real pleasure having you sharing with us. So those of you who are on the call, you heard Ms. Michelle and you heard Ms. Donna Samlal Singh speak about how important it is that now is the time for you to get on board with the One Life community and join us, get your educational packages, get back to the person who invited you to the meeting tonight, well, today, and please... Please, 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 wherever you are, do not give it a second chance or, a, or cast it off. Give it a look. Take a heartfelt interest in it and invest. Invest for the health and the wealth of your family and also for the community. So good morning, good evening, and good night. Once out. <laughs>